Hollywood. Hey, the big man here. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas, you rat bastard. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Recently, I have spent some time talking to, uh, well, I, I actually invited everybody who thinks they're not in our target demographic to call in and be part of our wide open telephone show. And we got all kinds of people. We got all kinds of people calling in. The number and variety of callers we've gotten on wide open telephones has uh, expanded dramatically. And so what I've decided to do is to try to pinpoint some of these groups of listeners. People who uh, who think they're just not part of the game here. People who think they're not welcome. People who think we would not enjoy talking to them. I'm going to pinpoint some of these groups and talk to them directly. Now I'm going to start with a very wide swath and then I'm going to get more specific as time goes on. And I'm going to do this from time to time. Uh, just because I, I want to see what happens. And I'm experimenting. I'm trying things out here. So let's start with something very simple. And then we'll make it uh, more challenging as we go on. In this segment of the program, I want to talk to women of all ages. Now, many times you've heard us on the program talk to people who hate me, and we'll do that again for sure. And sometimes we've narrowed it down to women who hate me, and we've gotten those calls on the air. This is something totally different. I just want to talk to women. Old women, young women, yes, we will talk if you think you're out of the demographic. Well, well, first of all, we told you for years, women are not our target audience. But whether it be uh, older women, young women, old bags, uh, girls, 12 years old, we will talk to anyone female. Anyone female, but only females during this segment of the program. And uh, it could be that you've never called the program because you thought you weren't welcome. It could be you never called the program because you thought you'd never get through. It could be because, you know, maybe you've never been on the air because uh, uh, maybe you hated me. Uh, maybe now you like me. I don't know. You may have some very strong opinions about uh, what we've done on the program over time. Maybe you really like the show, but you thought that I would beat the crap out of you. I don't know. But that's not the purpose of this segment of the program. I'll talk to people who love me, like me just found the show, but you have to be female. And that means, you know, literally, if you're old enough to dial a phone, right up to you've dialed a rotary dial phone at some time in your life, we will talk to uh, females of any age. And since many females are not used to calling in, let me give you the phone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Now, I'm not going to schmooze over the back fence. I'm going to take as many of these calls as I can. I want to get the biggest variety of female callers on the air. And it's for no other reason except, you know, I'm mixing it up a little bit. I'm experimenting. I'm trying something. And then, uh, depending on how this experiment goes, as time goes down... We'll narrow it down to particular categories of people who think they are not welcome or think they're not part of the program. And we will take as many of those as we can. So all you have to do is call us at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. 
And you don't even have to uh, be on any specific topic, ladies. All you have to do is dial in, and I will talk to you. So let's try it. Are you ready? Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. I I wanted to call in and tell you that I listen to you a lot. I don't always agree with what you have to say, but you make some really valid points. And I have an 18-year-old son, and I pass along a lot of the things that you say because I think they're very interesting and they're very poignant at times to point out to him, you know, sometimes that women are evil or can be evil. Not that I am, obviously, but um, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, to you and I enjoy listening to some of the things you have to say. You do? I do. And did you want to pick on me for anything, or did you want to point something out or talk about a specific subject? You know, there's one subject that really resonates with me that you said, I don't even know how long ago it was. It was something about uh, a caller had called in and said that they couldn't get this woman out of their house, and and you said, do you own the, do you pay for the utilities? Do you pay for this? And you know, years I had roommate problems and never knew what to do, and it was like a light bulb went off when you said, you just turn off the electricity, turn off the gas, turn off this, and you know, go stay with somebody. They'll move out. So that was really, really good. So you know, my son's going to be doing that pretty soon. So. I, uh, you know, I'll use that with him too. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so you're you're pretty smart. I I I do get where you're coming from a lot, and then I don't always agree with you either. So, but that's okay. Do you agree with everyone all the time? Of course not. No, see, you'd be bored to tears. Uh, that's it. And my best friend who just passed away recently, he and I had this agreement. Sometimes we're going to agree, sometimes we're not. And if more people had that, I think more people would get along. Good points, Michelle. Let's go to Valerie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Valerie. This is, I'm a first-time radio caller. <laughs> so you've never called a radio station before? No, I haven't. Wow. All right, well, welcome to the wonderful world of broadcasting. Well, thank you, Tom. What can I do for you? You said to call in, women of all ages, so I'm calling in. Right. Did you have anything to say? Well, I just started a new job as a chauffeur, so I'm on a job right now. Oh, okay. And uh, who are your clients? Well, I'm not allowed to talk about that. I don't mean their names. I mean what kinds of people? Um, executives, entertainers, that type of thing. Really? Yeah. And have you, uh, without telling us any names and compromising your job, because I wouldn't want anyone talking about me, and I'm in limos all the time, so I, I understand. I would not want you to break that confidence. All right. Of course not. But when you've had somebody you recognize in that limo, did they ever do anything that surprised you? Um, n no, not really. I've only been on the job three days, Tom. Ah, okay. But, uh, you know, I've been listening to your show lately, and, I, you know, sometimes I get a little annoyed with how you talk to men and how, you know, but you know what? You kind of did me a favor because I was dating someone for six years. I guess you could call them a, a friend sort of thing. A friend um, with benefits? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Um, but in a way, you did me a favor because I think he must have been listening to your show, and it turns out, you know, he's really not the right one anyway. So it kind of goes both ways, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Ashley on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm a first time caller also, actually. Cool. Well, I always listen to your show. I absolutely love you. You do? You know, there's a lot of women who, who don't like me, or there's a lot of women who think they wouldn't be welcome to call in. I think it's absolutely hilarious. I laugh every single time. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing. We need as much of that as we can get. Angie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Long time, first time. Thank you. I love you. I just want to tell you how much I agree with you and all the subjects of your program. You agree with me? I actually do. And I'm tired of working with gold diggers. Uh, I think you're in the right track, Um Men have to be careful with all these women that are just looking for your paycheck. That's right. <laughs> and, oh, well, I guess that's it for now. Okay, that's it for now. Barbara, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Do you care? 
I do, Tom, because I love your show. I absolutely love it. And I know that to you, I'm probably an old bag because I'm 60 years old. But I happen to have a 21-year-old son. And he, I have had him listen to you many times because I think that, you know, I know a lot of your shtick is, is done for, for impact. And I, but the basics that you talk about are so very true. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Get your education. Watch out for these women who trick you. Absolutely. So you pass that along to your son, and is he following my advice? He is. He has never had a serious girlfriend. Um, he is going to school and working. And he just has a great time, and he's careful, careful, careful. And, uh, you know, he he's a listener. But I think I listen to you more than he does because, actually, Tom, you're very entertaining, and I do get a lot of good laughs, too. I love that. I'll take all the help I can get. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOMS. You know what? You are the big thing that has happened to women, and they should just listen to you. The Tom Likes Show. The Tom Likas Show. Let's do a little experiment here. I'm talking to women who, uh, like they are not welcome on the program. Man. I may not agree with what they have to say. It doesn't mean they're not welcome to call in. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Kristen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, this is Kristen. I know. I just said that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a little bit blurry. How's it going, Father? Uh, it's going great, dear the first time calling. I listen to your show all the time. And what can I do for you? Well, I was just wondering, because I agree with you about half the time. I usually listen to you in the car with my boyfriend. So, do you think that education has anything to do with women being gold diggers or trying to trap men? Because the only women that I know are like that. They don't have college ed educations at all. You're, you're saying, does education have to do with the gold digging? Well, the relationship between education and gold digging is that if you're really hot, you don't have to be educated. You just uh, go out and find some guy to pay your bills. But I don't think that's true. I know a lot of hot women with college degrees, including me. Well, I didn't say it's impossible that there could be a hot woman who has a college degree. I'm simply saying the vast majority of the women with college degrees are not hot. Interesting. Huh. Okay. I was just wondering. And I have to imagine that your friends are like you if you're hot. I imagine <laughs> you hang out with other hot chicks who have college degrees. But in reality, come on. I want you to go to your next math or science class and look around and tell me honestly that the women in there are hot. <laughs> well, I graduated already by uh, recent grad. So I guess I know what you're saying. But if I think back to um, where I went to school, I think most of the women were attractive. Uh, I, put it this way. Most people are not attractive. Let's start with that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, come on. Most women in college are attractive. No, they're not. <laughs> okay, maybe just the people I surrounded myself with. Then. Maybe so. <laughs> well, it's nice talking to you, Father. I agree. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Jenna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> Just okay? No, I'm spectacular. I'm doing handstands. Cartwheels, in fact. That's um, I just wanted to tell you that, you know what, most of the time, I well, I listen to your show every single day at work. And I, I love it. I, I absolutely agree with you with most of the things you say. Except for earlier today when you were talking about gender roles. Um... I have to disagree with you on that. What? What do, what do you disagree with? Well, most of us are not blessed with a fancy job and we make tons of money. There are some people out there and it takes two incomes to run a household. Not one person should just be working. You know? Well, again, you know, if if, if uh, your only choice is a guy who's a loser, I understand that both of you would have to work. My man's in the military. He's in the Marine Corps. So. All right. And so his pay is lousy. Yeah. Well, 
you know. Well, wouldn't it make more sense, which is what I tell the guys all the time, not to have a relationship until his tour of duty is done, until he's out of the Marine Corps, heading off to college or whatever he's going to do? Oh, no. He, he's making a career out of the Marine Corps. He's absolutely 100%. He's going all the way till he dies. So he's going to have a lifetime of not making a great living. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But but that's fine with me, you know, because I'm I'm willing to work to support myself while he's doing what he has to do for the Marine Corps. But that's going to be until he retires. Well, that's not going to be for a very long time. That's what I just said. But I don't that's know. my it's point. And, and the question becomes, do you want to live that long? On, on such a paltry paycheck. Well, I mean, staying with him, then yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm anyway. just, I'm asking the tough questions. You know what, Tom? I love you either way. Well, thank you for that, Jen. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom and Casey just tuning in in the middle of this. Yeah, I've been doing some experimentation on the air recently, trying to talk to the people who think they're not welcome here. Now, of course, we have a target audience, target demographic. We always talk about that, uh, but sometimes it's fun to talk to the other people and see what they have to say. Priscilla on the Tom Likes Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you today? And your place to care. Doing okay. I was just wondering, I've listened to your show off and on throughout the years. I was just wondering if you've ever really been in love or if you've ever loved anything. I've never really... I've, I've never loved anything? anything? Well, I mean, like, you I know, love money. I woman? love my house. Uh, any woman? Well, uh, the point is you can't be disappointed unless you have been in love and had a knife stuck in your heart. Right. So you have been in love. Well, I I have been stupid at times in my life, yes. Now, and how about, so, and you don't have any children, right? Right. And you never want children, or you just you just don't want to hassle the, the mother of the children? Both. Both? Both. Huh. Is I love children, don't get me wrong. I just spent time uh, uh, recently with my nephew. His name is Ryan. Okay. And I love him to death. We had a great time together, and I, I love him like crazy. But uh, the responsibility of taking care of Ryan, only my brother and his wife can handle that. I couldn't do that. Right. All right. I, I, I you know, it's hard enough uh, doing my career and doing it well. And, uh, you know, and I also enjoy having complete freedom to do whatever I want whenever I want. Mm -hmm. Which other people with children, they say they can do it, but they can't. Right, you really can't, but there's nothing more than, you know, you know, seeing your kids and... Well, everybody um, doesn't feel the same way. And for me, having the complete freedom I have is worth more than anything. Do you ever think you'll fall in love again or you just won't let yourself? I, again, I never say never to anything. I say I would never get married again after number two and number three, and then I got married number four. So I'll never say never to anything, but I must tell you, I'm not uh, I'm not looking for love, if that's what you're uh, wondering. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I enjoy your show sometimes. Well, thank you so much. Alrighty. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Selena on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Good, good. I just wanted to let you know I've been listening to you for about a year since I moved here, and I enjoy your show very much on the way home from work. I Excellent. always laugh out loud in my car. <laughs> That's great. And do people think you're crazy for tuning in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend, he's like, he's the one that, um, actually, he's from here, so he's like, oh, yeah, you got to listen to this talk show, it's hilarious, da 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 So I start listening, I'm like, oh, boy. Well, now he never listens. Like, oh, we got to listen to us. He's like, nah, I want to listen to the, uh, you know, regular radio music, and I just think it's funny. But I enjoy it very much on the ride home from work, and I agree with a lot you have to say. I'm a prime example. I quit college at 19 and married, and divorced and pretty much ruined my life on the black sheep of my family so i would you know i agree with a lot you you need to get your education and don't ever get married <laughs> the exactly. biggest thing i ever made that is exactly that is exactly right eileen you're on the tom like show hello hi tom 
First Hi. time, long time. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to let you know I think you're doing a public service. Well, I've been trying to service the public one listener at a time, as you may have heard. Yes. But, you know, I'm not in your prime demographic. So, you know, today I thought it was my opportunity to call you and thank you for what you're doing. Well, I'm here to help. Uh, and, uh, do people think you're crazy for feeling that way? Um, a couple of my friends think that, you know, uh, that I'm crazy for listening to you and crazy to recommending you to, uh, you know, younger guys that I meet, you know, out in clubs, things like that. I always ask them if they listen to you, you know, because, you know, I, I want them to be informed. Well, I want them to be informed, too, and that's why I'm here. And unfortunately, a lot of them get uh, all upset at me. Uh, because they've been brainwashed over the years, of course. Yeah, well, a couple, one of my friends, you know, she, she just thinks that you're an ass. You know, excuse my language. An a-hole. An a-hole. That, that, that's the right word. And, yes. you know, I think that she's a, she's a bimbo <laughs> in some of her ways and things. And, um, you know, I've tried to educate her that, you know, you're trying to prevent young men and, you know, young women, too, from making mistakes that could jeopardize, you know, their future. Well, and I hope that has been working. I hope it's been happening, and I get a lot of guys reporting to me that everything is better than it's ever been for them. So I, I hope that's really true. Sonia on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. So I'm a new listener. I just started a few weeks ago. Um, the first show that I heard was you were talking to some guy about some chick that got, or he got some chick pregnant, and how he should try the Hail Mary. Yes. I loved that. That's what got me hooked. That that show got me hooked. Or the that. Hail Mary. That's what got you hooked, huh? I loved it. I loved it. It was brilliant. It really was. But um, I wanted to know a little bit more about you. I heard one of the girls call in and ask if you've ever been in love. That was one of my questions. Um, I know I've heard you say that you've been married four times. Right. How in the world did that happen? Well, you get married, and then you get divorced, and then you get married again, and you get divorced. And you get married again, <laughs> and you get divorced. Was this like before before you started the show? Uh, well, <laughs> the fourth time I got married was uh, before I started doing the show. I was married when I started doing it back in 1994. Oh, okay. You've been on that long. That's awesome. Um, so, I wanted to also know how you got started in this whole radio business. I won a contest when I was a kid. Really? I, I want an hour of air time. That's interesting. Yes. And that that just started it all. Did you have any idea what you were going to do before this? No, I was 14 when I won the contest. Oh, so you won it when you were 14? So you've been on the air since you were 14 doing this show? Or? No, 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 no. I was a disc jockey. Oh, okay. I see. Yes. I, I heard a, I was listening to the radio and they had a promo on the air. That said, uh, well, it said this. Attention all high school and college students. How would you like to be a WBAB student dish jockey? If so, just send your name, address, telephone number, and school to Student DJ, WBAB Route 109, Babylon. And who knows, you could be appearing live over the happening sound of BAB. Write Student DJ, WBAB Route 109, Babylon. Hurts my ears just listening to that production. Wow. Anyway, when I was uh, 14, I heard that on the radio, and I wrote a letter. And uh, it went on from there. I had no idea I wanted to work in the radio business. What do you think about that? That's pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know. I think, well, I don't know. I had no idea how you could even get into a show like this. But Well, I, well I, I, it wasn't a show like this back then. I was, uh, it's, as you see, a student DJ. I do have one more question for you. Yes, Sonia. What kind of advice can you give to a girl like me who doesn't want to fall for the type of guys that listen to your show? I don't want to hear, like us 101, you're out, B-I-T-C-H. You know what I mean? Like, how, how do I avoid those guys? Because those aren't the type of guys that I want to associate myself, myself with. Well, you need to find guys who listen to, uh, you know, My FM <laughs> or Coast. <laughs> I see. The guy's like that. All right, Tom. 
It's been great talking to you. I will continue to listen to your show because I absolutely love it. You're hilarious. Thank you, Sonia. Appreciate the call. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number, half past the hour on the Tom Likas Show. And as part of my ongoing experiments here, I've been talking to segments of the audience that are, you know, not part of the target demographic, not considered to be part of the target. Therefore, they may not think they are welcome. And we are welcoming them in. Let's say hello here to uh, Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. I just wanted to share the story of how I became a listener. All right. There was a Like His 101 bumper sticker once upon a time when I first moved to California. And I asked a bunch of girlfriends, bad mistake, what is this Like His 101 thing? Who is this guy? They said, ignore it. It's a man thing. It's a pig thing. You don't want to know. So secretly I tuned in. And uh, as it turns out, you have some really good advice. And I try to get all the young guys that I know to listen. I love that. And so now you're still listening. Yes, absolutely. About three years now. And do all the women think you're crazy for tuning in? Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> That's the way I like it. That's the way I like it. Mary on the top like his show. Hello. Hey. Hey, Daddy. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, Mary. Good. Thanks for having the show. Because in the past, I never was able to get on. Yes. <laughs> Because I'm 49, past my expiration date. Yes. But anyway, I'd like to probably say that I think I'm a female version of you. Um, I'm turning 50, like, in two months, and I am proud to say I'm a cougar also. I date guys as young as 19 to maybe 25. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually had a date last night with a 25-year-old. And did you ride him like a pony? <laughs> sure did. You did? Oh, yeah, and you know, they're, they're not like guys like my age that run out of gas or can't even get the engine started. What's the youngest you've gone, Mary? Tell me the truth. 19. 19. Now, tell uh -huh. me, you're 49. What was it like being with a 19-year-old? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot because the thing is that a lot of their time, I'm older than their mother. You love that, too, don't you? Oh, heck Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but anyway, I. So do these guys run run game, or do you uh, do you pick them up yourself? Both, both. You know how you um, tell the guys to go to these hotel bars in TGIF? Yes. Right there. Yeah, that's exactly true, boys. The so, hotel bars are the way to go if you're under uh, under twenty one. Uh, well, it's like TGIF. TGI Fridays, yeah. Yeah, or um, or even Chili's. Or, and now that it's and now that it's like Monday Night Football, it's heaven. Oh, look at you! So, <laughs> so do you uh, sidle up to these guys? Do you uh, have an opening line? Uh, what do you do? Oh, I just go up to them. You know, I'll make a way to the bathroom, get a look at them, and I go up to them and say, "Hi, my name's Mary." Blah 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 blah. Really? Yeah. Actually, last Friday I went to this Cougar Club, and um, these guys asked me to buy a drink. I go, oh, "No, no, that's okay. I'm a Tom like this listener. You know, that's not necessary." Wow! Look at that. And I have your I have your number on my cell phone, so I flashed it to them, and it, um, they they really heard of you. And the young ones that are like twenty to twenty five that don't hear you know haven't heard of you, I turn them on to you. Now, when is the last time you dated a guy your own age? Over ten years. Ten years. Forty. Look uh -huh. at you. Now, do you have any kids? No, I have never been married and no kids. I'm oh. not into the whole finding a contract for love. And I mean, like last week ago, a week ago this time, I was in Jamaica for 10 days. Really? Yeah, I just took off. And and were you at like what, Club Med or something? Where'd you go? Um, no, Mom. Actually, we're still at the Ritz. You went to the Ritz-Carlton? Exactly. In uh -huh. Did you say Jamaica? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. You were at the Ritz-Carlton in Jamaica? Uh -huh. And what were you doing? Yep. Like like working the scuba instructors? What were you doing? Oh no, just doing the cocktails by the pool, swimming at the beach type of thing, clubbing at night. Look at you. And I'm Latina, so they love Latina women. Look at that. And and how young did you go when you were in Jamaica? Um, twenty eight. Twenty eight. And did you smoke weed there too? Um, it was offered to me, but I'm weary of it because uh, for my job I rather not do what I do. I do get drug tested. I see. And, um, I mean, it smelled wonderful. But I had tons of rum and red striped beer and jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. 
<laughs> so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on cougars? Because I know you consider me past the expiration date. Well, I, just when you mentioned jerk chicken, I don't know if you're talking about a food or a command. Tom like it. Who's that? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Like it. Keep it pippin', Tom. Pippin' ain't easy, but somebody gotta do it, and you the man. The Tom like it show. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas at one 800 800 tom And um, as part of my ongoing anthropological experiment here, we continue our conversation with uh, people who are not in our target demographic, like in this case, females of all ages. one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. Let's talk to Dale on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How aren't you tonight? How aren't I? Yeah. Pissed off. I Why? Aren't. Not, you just said, how aren't I? I'm not pissed off. I'm in a good mood. I feel oh, great. So you're, you're, you're pissed on, I guess, huh? No. <laughs> no. Uh, not nearly often enough, dear. I'm a long-time caller and a first-time listener. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I just wanted to uh, kind of relate to that last caller that was dating the younger guy. Yes. Uh, I got into that trap. I'm basically in my 50s. Yes. But I, I look much better than that, I'm told. Is that so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I was working at this swanky, uppity, up, up place on the beach. Yes. And I met one of the little valets there. Cute as he could be, Colombian guy. Uh-huh. And we, you know, we got together and went out. There was really not much in common, not even the music. But there was something in common that I loved. And, you know, that was behind, between the sheets. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So anyway, we wound up probably getting married three months later. Three months later? Yeah. And we were fine. And then... Somebody had told him about your show, and he started listening. Of course, I didn't. I was doing my thing, so I had no idea. And uh, eventually, he wound up dumping me, and you know, letting me know what he's learned. So, really? my... so, so I ruined your marriage. Yes, and it broke my heart. So I gave him a call, and I had one last ditch effort. And this is what I told him: You want to know? Uh, yeah, of course. But you're my husband, and I love you. <laughs> Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Karen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, baby. How are you? I'm doing okay, dear. Good. Good. I'm so glad that you have finally opened up the line to let all, different people, dem, different demographics call in because you are just, you're, you're rooming for the young guys there when you have older hot women call, wanting to know where I can meet these guys. It's about time you opened it up, opened up these lines. You want to meet these guys? Well, you know, I, I, I actually, it seems like it's a trend lately, but I've been getting hit up on by a lot of younger guys. I meet them at parties, but I still want to meet more. So I live, like, in the Beverly Hills area near and West Hollywood. What kind of places do you recommend I should I should find some, some nice guys that are You mean nice men? young guys, a good uh, uh, cougar location? Well, both. I mean, I like all ages as long as they're hot. Really? And I wanna know, yeah, and I want to know where you hang out, too. Oh, I, is that so? That's so. I'd what like you, to meet you too. What do you look like, darling? Um, I'm I'm hot. I <laughs> I um, I'm about five four, hundred and twenty eight. I work out six days a week. I look great. I sent I sent Dino my photos. He, Dino asked me. I called in once before, and he asked me to send my photos, and I did. And he said I look great. So. All right. Well, that's what he said to you. Let me see what he's saying to me now. <laughs> No, okay, Dina's uh, Dina's sending me your photos. I'll get a look oh. at it tonight. Oh, you, you, now you understand, yeah. Dean? Dean, who is Italian, I can get him. To, I Dean lives in West Hollywood. I can dispatch him out to uh, take care of you tonight. <laughs> well, he knows how to reach me. He has my email address. Is that so? That's so, but I want to. But 
You know, I, I well, seriously, where do you where do, where are some great places to hang out at? You know, like at a bar or a restaurant. What do you what do you recommend? Well, a good meeting place. You know, we always talk about Lola's on the air on Fairfax. Okay. We love Lola's. Yeah. Have you been there, the Martini Bar, Lola's? I have. I it's been a long time since I've been there. So what what like what a good night to go there. Uh, well, Lola's is busy every night of the week. I, it's an amazing situation. There's very few bad nights at Lola's. Especially wow. after summer is over, it's crazy. After the summer, right? Yeah. And summer's, Ooh. summer's officially over now, so. Yeah. Well, when are you, when are, when are you gonna be there so I can meet you? Well, I haven't oh. made, I haven't made a plan. I haven't made my itinerary yet. I don't know when I'm gonna be there, but, oh. but I'm sure, I'm sure I can hook you up. I'm sure Dean will be heading your way. Oh, yeah? I can send him your way, absolutely. Well, he keeps he keeps saying I can come down to the studio whenever you get back in town, so I can meet all you guys. So you've been calling on a regular basis. Uh, I call occasionally. Is I'll, that so? I'll on, yeah, I'll put on a nice black sexy mini skirt for you and high heels, and I'll, and I'll let you. I want to get your opinion. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. I've got beautiful legs and a nice. Well, I don't want to say it over the air, but. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure we do. All right, well, I'm, I'm sure Dean is going to handle this to the best of his ability. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Here's Jenna on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing okay, Jenna. Well, I just wanted to let you know I'm probably the farthest from your target demographic, and I love your show. Really? I do. I'm 26. I'm pretty conservative, and I'm married, and I just can't get enough of what you have to say. Look at you. Of course, I think I, you know, people uh, they love to try to pin me down as a liberal something or other, but the reality is my opinion is much more close to uh, so-called conservative values. You know what? You're telling the sluts to keep their legs closed, the guys to use protection, and isn't that what we all want? And, and I want all the chicks to stay home and fold my shirts. That's what I do for my husband. I don't see what the problem is. I love that. You know, and I feel like if a lot more ladies listen to you, they'd know if they want a one-night stand, they know where to go to get it. And if they want a guy to marry them, they need to do that the right way, too. And it's not by going out and uh, getting drunk every night and poking holes in people's condoms. I think you're absolutely right about that, Jenna. This is Danielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, um, actually, I called to ask ask if you want to go out. If I want to go out? Yes. You want to go out with me? Yeah. Why do you sound surprised? Of course. Well, tell me about you. Um, 29, um, 5 foot 5. Sing, single mom. That's a problem. Never, you know that. Of course. Never been married. Uh-huh. Now, I think I'm not trying to to uh, get married, but I think that you and I should go out. You do? And and why me, of all people? Um, why not you? Well, you I, I generally haven't been dating single mothers. <laughs> well, um, I'm sure you wouldn't take me very seriously. You are? No, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Why is that? But you know what? I would, I would appreciate it if if <laughs> you if you would. Are you yes. nervous? You sound nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've never asked a man out before. Mm, and what makes you think you would enjoy going out with me? Well, you know, that's a good question. I enjoy listening to you at first. I really could not stand listening to some of, some of your topics. And then after I listened for a month or so, I really... I don't know. I started to like you. Really? Yeah. What do you look like, dear? What do I look like? Yeah. Um. Well, I guess I'm, a, you know, attractive. I'm 
not too old. To you guess you're attractive? You're not sure? Well, I mean, I am, if you ask, you know, um, another, a, a man. Well, or a not, yeah, I mean, I'd rather ask a man and uh, see what his opinion is. Well, maybe I should email you. Well, you go right ahead, dear. I do read the email. We get a look. You would not believe some of the stuff that comes in, by the way. You can take that any way you like. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Lori on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, dear? No, it's a statement. Hello. Hi, Tom. I just wanted to call and say that I love your show. My boyfriend hates you. And... um the rest of the females have not said anything, but I just wanted to say I love your show, and if you can take me out tribal style. Well, of course I can. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Layla. Less than a minute on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Hey, hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, I am in a good mood because it's a good opportunity for me to call you and thank you because I actually am a single mom and I had my kid very young, but just like some people are different in their statistics or they don't fall into statistics, I think that you try to promote that in guys and I learn a lot from your rules. Well, it's good. So it is helpful to you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that after, you know, you learn the hard way sometimes, sometimes you have to kind of be shaking around and then, you know, you get some good advice from a friend and you're kind of like a friend to many people that are clueless when it comes to relationships. So you really help me become, a, you know, a better partner, you know, as far as friendships go, as far as giving advice, as far as being matter of fact. And I, I think all of that is great. Layla, I got to run. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show.